Good morning, Freedom Family. Thank you for joining us again today. Uh, this week, we are talking about having the mind of a roadrunner. And, um, you know, we've been talking about Wiley Coyote and the roadrunner and those cartoons and just the memories that it brings back. Um, but have you ever thought, because the roadrunner, like, he just goes so fast. And I've never really stopped to think, what is he thinking? But he's a man of purpose and he is a man of destination, like he's going somewhere. And um, I was reading my devotional this week and a verse stood out to me, which then led to another verse. And so I want to take a second and I want to talk to us about the mind of a roadrunner and how he has to be steadfast, like he has to be determined where he's going um, because he's going somewhere because he's not getting caught um, by the traps of the coyote. And so Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, you keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. And um, Isaiah in that point was talking about like those that focus on you, those that trust you, those that, that keep their eye and their mind on you, you keep in perfect peace. And I don't know about y'all, but the season of life that we're in right now, I value my peace. I value my peace of mind. I value the peace in my heart. I value the peace in my home. And so one of the ways that we do that is to trust the Lord and to be steadfast. And as I was pondering that verse and really letting it sit with me and to be intentional, because out of all those words, like there was a couple words that stood out to me in that verse, um, definitely perfect peace. Because when you find peace, you know, it's like that old hymn, peace, peace, what a wonderful thing flowing down from the father above, right? Like there is nothing that compares to the peace of God. And then um, those whose mind is steadfast, those who are focused, and then it's that way because they trust in you. And um, that led me to the next verse that I was thinking about that I want to share with you guys, which is Proverbs 4, 23 to 27. And it says, and then uh, NIV, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. I've talked to kids, I've talked to parents, I've talked to couples doing counseling and talked about the importance of guarding our heart because truly our heart leads to our action, leads to our thoughts and our thoughts lead to our actions. And so what's in our heart matters. So we have to guard what is inside of our heart. And then to keep our mouth, the next verse is to keep your mouth from perversity, keep corrupt talk far from your lips, because what you say Another scripture says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so what is in your heart is coming out your mouth and what comes out your mouth as we talked um, earlier about declarations, you know, what comes out of your mouth goes in your ears and goes through your head and becomes your thoughts, which then becomes your actions. So it all feeds itself. So we have to be careful. We have to guard our heart, what we're putting inside our heart, what we're speaking out our mouth, because it leads to what we're thinking which goes back to the mind of the roadrunner to be steadfast. So on verse 25, it says, let your eyes look straight ahead, fix your gaze directly before you, give careful thoughts to the paths of your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the left or the right, keep your feet, your foot from evil. This part of the scripture is talking about, you know, Fix your eyes, be steadfast, be focused on what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you're heading to and why it is what you're doing. Because if you take care of your heart, you take care of your mouth, you're going to take care of your mind, which affects your eyes, right? It's part of that action. So what is it that we're looking at? So keep focused on where God is leading instead of getting distracted by the chaos and the noise and the life and the, the family and the distractions and the jobs and the responsibilities and the finances, like y'all know the list can go on. It's crazy. This whole adulting thing can be crazy, but we have to fix our eyes on Christ. We have to fix our eyes on the goal and we have to be steadfast. We have to be determined. We have to continue to push through. And I think that's the point of where, of what the Lord is speaking to pastor and to the church about this whole beep beep series this year, or the word for the year beep beep is that you just keep focus. And the, the thing about the, the, the um, road runner is, you know, sometimes he may walk, but he's on the go. He's going places and he is too busy to pay attention, too busy, focused on what's ahead of him and where he's going, what his goal is to be distracted by all the noise 
to the left and to the right. And I don't know about you, but for me, there have been times when I've been focused and I'm going and I'm good. But if I pause and I look to the left, I'm, I kind of drive, <laughs> not the best driver, I'll just be honest. But when I'm driving, if I look to the left, my car sometimes goes more to the left or to the right, right? Like it just goes with me, whatever way I'm looking. Same thing with our bodies, same thing with our heart and our mind and our thoughts and our actions. So we have to be, be um, focused and steadfast and not distracted by all the life going on beside us. And when we do that and when we're focused and when we're able to be steadfast in our, in our heart, our speech and our thoughts, which is our mind, we're able to say, peace out, coyote. I got places to go. Beep, beep. Y'all have a great week.